Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is a very, very, very exciting video. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you guys for all of your love and support and all of the subscribers that I've gained and we are steadily growing and I'm just so happy. Um, I was going to wait until um, we hit a thousand subscribers, but I decided to go ahead and do this to show you guys some love and say thank you. This is my way of saying thank you to you guys for supporting me and subscribing to my channel and following along my journey. So anyway, um, it's a giveaway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a what's for dinner video and I have lots of yummy recipes that we have eaten over the week but I just wanted to pop on here before I tell you about this meal and remind you to watch till the end of the video if you want to um, see what the giveaway is all about but yeah I'll have all the information below on how to get entered into the giveaway but yeah anyway that's it and let's go ahead and jump into it. So this meal is just a pork loin. I roasted some veggies and then we have some Near East rice peat loaf on this side. Hey guys, so I am getting ready to prep dinner and throw it in the crock pot. So I thought that I would show you guys. Um, this is a very popular meal. If you haven't had it at this point, I'll be shocked, but I'll go ahead and show you. I am making Mississippi pot roast tonight, and these are the ingredients that you need. I got this big pot roast on sale for $11.90, woohoo! And I have this au jus gravy mix and ranch mix. And then a full stick of butter, these are just two halves, and then some pepperoncinis. And so I'm just going to dump this all in the crock pot and put it on low for all day, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we serve it up tonight. I'll probably make some mashed potatoes and like a salad or something. So let's go ahead and throw it in. Hey guys, so I am just working on dinner. I showed you guys the pot roast when I put it in this morning, and now I am just working on, we are gonna have a salad, and I've got some mashed potatoes, some potatoes on boiling for that, but I am just chopping up my veggies for our salad, and then I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all done and plated up. I'm really excited though. Okay guys, so this is our meal tonight all plated up. 
I have the Mississippi pot roast right here that has been cooking all day. It is so delicious. I whipped up some homemade mashed potatoes. I just put some butter, um, sour cream, and heavy cream. And that's Pax over there enjoying his meal. Um, but I just put those and then salt and pepper and garlic and then I topped mine with some everything but the bagel seasoning and then we got some peas and then a big side salad with tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, green onion, jalapeno and then I topped it with some cheese, some ranch and wonton um, little strips but we're gonna go ahead and dig in so we will see you tomorrow night hey guys so tonight I am making homemade alfredo and I'm using this um, cheese lovers tortellini but I wanted to show you guys all the ingredients it's super easy and it's really really yummy so you just need whatever kind of pasta whether it's fettuccine noodles or tortellini or whatever and then you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream I have a big thing here I'm probably not gonna use all that I also have a bag of mozzarella and then I have an Italian style blend as well I don't know if I'll use this but I might and then for the chicken, I just have this like pre-cooked um, little um, breast uh, dices and I'm just gonna grill those up in a pan. And then you're gonna need salt, pepper, and then Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna have this with probably a side salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything started on the stove. Okay, so while the water is boiling and the chicken starts going, I'm just gonna chop up some veggies for our salad. All right guys, so this is it all plated up. This is the tortellini alfredo with chicken and I did add mushrooms in um, at the very end. And then I have a side salad and you guys see me chop up all the veggies. I just topped it with ranch and some pepper. And then I just made some garlic bread with some hamburger buns that we needed to use up. But we're gonna go ahead and eat and we'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, welcome back to another what's for dinner um, it is actually the morning time it is 10 o'clock but we are heading out for the day 
And so I'm just gonna prep dinner. I'm gonna marinate some chicken in this Grill Mates tomato garlic basil marinade. And so on the back it just says like a fourth a cup of water, a fourth a cup of vegetable oil, and some vinegar. And I have that in here. So I'm just gonna pour this in, mix it, and then I'm gonna marinate some chicken, so. Okay guys, so this is dinner all finished up. This is our chicken that we grilled. And then I've got all of my roasted veggies over there. And then I did like a little microwave, little company mini potatoes. It's like garlic and herb. But that is it for tonight's dinner. We're gonna dig in. We are super tired and super hungry. So we'll see hey you guys, tomorrow. So welcome back. It is Monday night. Um, last night I did not um, film what we were having for dinner because we had takeout. We were super tired after spending the whole day on the lake. So we just got some teriyaki and crashed. But tonight we are having crescent roll pizza and we were gonna have a salad. We were gonna have a salad, but we have fresh lettuce outside and it's literally like a torrential downpour. So anyway, this is all my stuff that we're gonna do. I've got pizza sauce, the crescent roll dough, some jalapenos, mozzarella, um, pepperoni, and some mushrooms. So we're gonna get this thing started. Okay, so I just started by pulling out my crescent roll dough and as you can see, I am just putting all the edges together so it's like one big piece and not the little separate pieces. This was kind of difficult. They just kept coming apart so I had to work at it for a little bit but eventually I got it together and I'm just gonna pop this in the oven without anything on it at 425 and I just watched it until it was starting to brown and then I put my pizza sauce on there and now I'm adding all of our toppings. So this was actually a really good recipe. Um, it was very buttery to me. I would like for it to have been a little bit crispier, um, like the dough, but it was really good and it was super easy, so. Okay guys, so this is it all plated up. We were gonna have a salad, but as I mentioned, it was kind of a downpour, and so our lettuce is in the garden. 
So we skipped on that. I just made some fries. These are like rally fries. I fried them up in the air fryer. I have some ketchup with garlic salt on top, some ranch, and then our pizza. And we're gonna go eat. Okay guys, so this recipe I am making some chicken tacos in the Instant Pot. I've talked about this recipe so much and so I wanted to share that with you guys on my uh, YouTube channel. So I'm starting off and I'm putting a couple of these boneless skinless chicken breasts that are frozen into my Instant Pot. I think I just did two of them and then I am going to add some water to it and a can of Rotel or as I'm using it's Kroger brand it's knockoff so it's um, tomatoes and diced green chilies and then a packet of your taco mix and you're just gonna put that in the instant pot on manual for 20 minutes and so while that is cooking I'm just going to chop up all of our toppings for our tacos so that's what I'm gonna do now Okay guys, so I said that I was gonna have enchiladas but realized that we didn't have any cream cheese. So I went with one of our favorites and it is chicken tacos. Super easy and super delicious. As you can see, I've got my chicken down under there. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese, some tomatoes, green onion, jalapeno, cilantro, a little bit of ranch, um, like some kind of green verde sauce. And then I'm gonna put a little squirt of lemon and that's all my tacos. And then I have this Uncle Ben's Spanish style rice. But that is it for dinner and that is gonna wrap up this week's what for What's For Dinner. So make sure that you guys subscribe so you see the ones coming next week. And yeah, that'll be it. Um, so you guys know that I always, always, always talk about my planner and how obsessed I am with it and how it helps me with everyday life and budgeting and, and um, planning out YouTube and our lives and grocery shopping and meal planning and everything else. I use it for literally everything. So I thought there was nothing better than for my first giveaway to be a planner. This is a happy planner. It is beautiful. It is very big. It's got lots of room it's very pretty i love the colors and there's lots to, to do in here i mean it's just it's just gorgeous okay it's just like so pretty so i decided i'm going to be giving this away and i'm going to be giving away a happy planner book of stickers to go with it 
So, yay! Thank you guys for all of your love and support. And I will be leaving this up for probably a week um, and then I'll choose a winner. But I'm going to leave all of the info to enter into the giveaway down below. So make sure that you read that carefully and you follow all the directions in order to um, be entered into the giveaway. So that's it for this video. It is super fast and super quick. And I, I am super excited for you guys um, to continue on this journey with me and I hope somebody's gonna get a brand new planner and stickers so who knows make sure that you follow the rules down below in the description box and yeah that's it so thank you guys and i will see you in my next one